Meanwhile, we mentioned that flooding and that flooding brought dangerous conditions across much of our area today. Road closures were seen throughout Tioga County, Pennsylvania, an area hit by devastating flood just a month ago. Our 18 News reporter Anna Myers is keeping an eye on the flood advisories that were issued earlier today. She joins us now live in the studio with more. Anna. Thank you, Zach and Jordan. Yes, we saw a lot of rain today, and although it has wrapped up, we are still seeing some minor flooding over some roads and even some creeks and rivers as they continue to rise and runoff continues. We also have received storm reports from several areas, and some of them include minor flooding in Steuben County and also throughout Tioga County, Pennsylvania and Bradford County, Pennsylvania. And counties in the Twin Tiers have reports of heavy rainfall of two to three inches since midnight last night. We've had some minor flooding, but as of right now, everything is holding well, uh, nothing major. The maintenance work we've done in the stream beds is paid off and uh, everything is doing okay right now, but we sure don't need any more. And another area that was hit hard back in August, Knoxville, Pennsylvania, is still safe from those flooding waters. But as those waters continue to rise just because of that runoff, as that rain has ended, there still is a risk even after that rain has stopped. Now, as this rain continues to move to our east, there still is some potential for some minor flooding to stick around. So we will be continuing to keep a close eye on the weather to keep you safe. But as always, if you see standing water, turn around, don't drown. Live in studio, I'm Anna Myers, 18 News.